Hi folks, I have another unboxing for you and if I turn it round you'll be able to see what it is. It's the new scroller box. Now this did come a few days ago, I just haven't opened it yet, uh, but I wanted to get a review of it, well an, an unboxing of it done before the official end of the month and judging by the fact that the box that came in September was the August box, because if you remember I got really confused about that fact when uh, I noticed, and as it turned out the box that came um, in July was the June box, so it looks like they're a month behind, but you know, it's okay. Um, yeah, uh, I've not had a chance to do anything with the with the last box that I got yet because work and stuff and I've also got shed loads of things that I need to uh, sort out to review. Uh, I've got lots more things that have come through from Amazon Vine uh, probably about 10 different aromatherapy oils as well as other things so let's get on with this shall we as i said judging by the last box this will probably be the scroller box that came out for september there you go shall we have a look let's see oh now, to confuse the issue further, it's the October scroller box. I'm going to have to have a look back on my videos that I did last month because I'm starting to doubt myself now. But I'm pretty sure the one that I did in September was the August one. <sighs> anyway, by the by. <laughs> So yeah, oh yes, you might have noticed this. Um, happy Halloween and all that. Uh, let you have a look at that. They are some of the colours that came as part of that palette that I reviewed in an earlier video. But they really are lovely. And to say that I didn't put any foundation or... Um, anything like that on at all I, uh, the only cosmetics I've got on are the eyeshadow and this lip colour I have redone the lip colour because having something to eat put paid to what I'd got on but the eyeshadow has been on since about 10 o'clock this morning and it's currently quarter past 7 at night so it's not doing too bad it's got no primer or anything underneath it is just the neat eyeshadow on my lids so to um, Jolie Beauty. Really good, really good. Anyway, let's get on with this, shall we? <sighs> Try and not drop everything on the floor. Okay, so the scroller zine for October 2020. We have. Oh, the different pens. Oh, God. I'm starting to get really confused. Uh, oh. And, yeah, you might remember me saying uh, that I was going to start doing um, a self-portrait uh, with the scroll box that came with the acrylics in and I did start drawing it out and that's as far as I got so uh, people have sent their pictures in from the August box uh, yeah oh god what's going on with these boxes I'm dead confused now anyway the artist print is by Ayman Hazuri 
aka Caligra Paint. Uh, Ayman Hazuri is a Syrian artist living and working in France. He graduated from the Faculty of Fine Arts of the University of Damascus and also holds a doctorate in Fine Arts from the University of Strasbourg, France. His work is based on contemporary calligraphy inspired from different alphabets like Arabic, Latin and Cyrillic merging these together to create his own imagined letter forms with acemic elvish like characters the first written record in the history of mankind was found in ugarit in syria it is the cuneiform alphabet the letter is a sign and each written word carries graphic movements which constitute these abstract signs we always try to read something in calligraphic works, but Ayman's multicultural calligraphy does not seek readability, but graphic plasticity. So that's that. That's uh, really nice. I do like that. And yeah, you can you can see how he's uh, made use of calligraphy pens in the execution of it uh, by the strokes. Anyway, I really like that. So, let's see what we've got in this little paper package. Um, I'm trying not drop everything all over the floor and make mountains of stuff that are tipping all over the place as I seem to be good at doing. Right, so, scroll pad, the long thin one. Uh, a pad shape that's a little different. Something different to change the way you think about paper shape and size. This is 20 sheets of cartridge paper. So, uh, cartridge paper, pretty good for practicing calligraphy and general handwriting. Um, I used to use cartridge paper when I was in junior school, when we were been taught how to do italic writing with the uh, nib pens so yes anyway here we go try hard to not drop stuff all over the floor so the little sweetie that's come with this one is an uncle joe's mint ball Can you see it with the uh, the light that's reflecting back? Uh, using only three natural ingredients of pure cane sugar, cream of tartar and peppermint oil, Uncle Joe's mint balls are hand-cooked on open fires to caramelise and offer a truly unique mint taste. Mmm, like mint. So here we have a Centro Pen Liner 2811F and this is a simple liner for adding those fine details that make all the difference. I've got a bit of paper here. Let's have a look at what the lines are that it makes, shall we? Might as well. So uh, if I yep. Nice neat narrow lines I try not to lose everything on the floor right next up this month's pencil sketch it out rough out the shape of your design before adding letters and this is a coinure Hard, 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 hard mud, 1860, and it's a B pencil, so that should be a nice medium hardness, if I remember rightly. <laughs> the next one that we have is this little fella, and this is a double-ended brush pen. 
we've got a black brush on one end for bold black brush lines and there's a grey brush on the other end great for shading or shadows so shall we have a little look what that's like we'll have a look at the uh, the grey brush end first and if I do it so you can see what that's like there that's that's actually really nice that actually felt good to do and this is the black end just go around it a little bit like that hmm. nice right There's the usual little card with the info on of everything that's in this month's box. Uh, this month's scroll challenge is a scenic aesthetic. Using lines and symbols that look like writing, but do not have any meaning relating to the enjoyment or study of beauty. So, mm, that's going to be interesting to do. Uh, hmm. So yeah, the theme of this month's box is calligraphy. But don't worry, we're not going to make you practice lines and lines of text to, oh for goodness sake, lines and lines of text to master your lettering skills, although it may help. No, I had enough years of that in uh, junior school, thanks very much. Uh, instead, we want you to create art using letter forms as the base of your piece. Whether you write the same word over and over to create texture or expand and extrude the letter shapes themselves to create interesting forms within your artwork, we want you to take inspiration from this month's featured artists and explore the relationship between letters and art to create a calligraphic art piece that doesn't need to be legible, just visually aesthetic. Hmm. So I suppose I could take inspiration from that from things like illuminated manuscripts. I've got a miniature book of Kells somewhere, so I might um, have a little look through that for... Uh, ideas anyway back to what's in the box this is the last thing you see a whole pack of manuscript flexi cali creative flexible italic markers make your mark with the cali creative flexi markers perfect for on trend hand lettering and creative calligraphy the versatile flexible tip with oblique cut allows you to experiment with your writing and the 12 colours available are the ideal match for a punchy urban look and graffiti style lettering. Whether you are a designer, crafter, lettering artist or simply having a, have a creative mind, you will find these markers absolutely inspiring. And there's several different colours. How many have we got all together? All together? Two, four, six, eight, ten... There's 12 in there all together. It's not bad, is it? Full pack, different colours. Like it. <sighs> right, let's have a look what else we've got in the magazine, eh? So, we've got a Q&A with Ayman Hazuri and some examples of his work. Liking that. I'm actually liking the sound of this challenge more and more. Uh, scroller tips, things to try. Uh, get familiar with use of the basics in calligraphy letters are all made up of these basic strokes. So I did actually want to start having a go at different calligraphy styles and a few months ago I went as far as buying a left-handed ink pen, uh, some calligraphy books, a book on um, copper plate lettering and 
Oops. Try not to drop everything on the floor. Uh, uh, that's a great big because can't really do it that way. It goes off. Oh goodness, goes off the ca camera. But yeah, big. Uh, it's probably about a foot wide altogether, maybe a little bit more. Uh, pad for practicing calligraphy lettering in, and I forgot where I've put them. Do you know, you start doing things and then you get sidetracked by something and you can't remember where you put anything. I suppose I ought to start keeping stuff in boxes and have them all lettered up. This month's um, scroll sticker. So yes, that's everything that's in the box. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got in here. We've got notes from the artist. Uh, there's the uh, Scroll Gallery August Challenge, which I showed you. Uh, Self-portraits. There's some really nice ones there. Shame I didn't get as far as properly getting mine going. Uh, Scroller Extra, The Art of Words. Ooh. That looks... Oh, goodness. That looks stunning, doesn't it? I really do like that. Uh, scroller update. Refer your friends and earn points. Hmm. Don't forget, a great way to earn more scroller points and save money off your next renewal is to tell your friends about us. Uh, and then it tells you how to do that. Uh, and what happens. And it says that there's no limit on... Uh, on how many you, you want to refer or how many friends are interested uh, so yeah that sounds really good uh, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll put something on my Facebook and ask if any of my friends are interested in uh, in me referring them to scroll box and see how many um, people don't reply one of them things isn't it so yeah anyway <laughs> That's uh, Scroller Box, uh, October 2020, uh, with uh, calligraphic art as the theme. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I should have said at the beginning, shouldn't I? Happy Halloween to everyone. Um, if you have enjoyed it, you know, give us a like and a little thumbs up. Uh, drop us a comment downstairs. Let me know what you thought. Uh, similarly, if you weren't right keen on uh, what's happened in the video and, and what I've said, you know, give us a thumbs down uh, and um, drop me a comment to tell me why you weren't happy about it. Uh, you know, a, a negative comment is is really just constructive criticism un, unless it's downright nasty of course which i hope nobody would put um you know i would use potentially negative comments as learning tools and hope that i would be able to improve in future videos as a result so yes enjoy your weekend uh have a, a nice night tonight um i will be posting this out tonight rather than tomorrow and some of the things that i've got to do videos about i might put those out for tomorrow me being mindful a few weeks ago saying that i was going to post on wednesdays and sundays anyway that's it for this one look after yourselves Look after each other. Take a jumper when you go out because it's getting a little bit chilly out there. Make sure you've got your brolly in your bag. And I will see you in the next video. Hope you've enjoyed this one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.